Yeah. Meanwhile, the youth have been urged to ensure they are not left behind in the matters of leadership and issues that concern the country. Speaking during a youth conference here in Nairobi under the partnership of Action Aid, the stakeholders noted that the youth have been left behind in leadership issues. Young men and women with the pillars, with the future, here we are. Let's join together with ability. Wait, 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 wait. The space for young people hasn't really been clarified. It's not too clear. Young people's involvement in governance processes has been more of recipients as opposed to direct engagement of young people. We've just come out of a long, hotly contested election and we are barely one year into um, this term of the current administration and when you still look at young people's engagement, young people's involvement, even when you look at it in terms of participation in last year's elections, there was a lot of apathy. Country Youth Youth Summit. It's a summit where youth of like minds come together to brainstorm and share issues that they're all passionate or they're facing or they want to advocate about. I feel the youth are not included in the decision making processes and their capacity building programs are very few. Uh, the youths need to be equipped with skills and knowledge so that they can become uh, more active economically. And the government needs to also check um, and also come, come in handy so that uh, they need to also um, engage youths in order to participate in this public participation. Prime Cabinet Secretary and Cabinet Secretary for Foreign and Diaspora Affairs.